robbers, thieves, corrupt, unhygienic, owners of convenience stores, irrelevant, homosexual, gangsters, men superiority, arranged marriage, spies lovers, cow worshippers, the vermilion mark. These are some cultural stereotypes of the Indian group and culture. But what do we really know? We only know a misunderstood idea of what the Indian culture group is. We only know different human beings that look, talk, and walk the same as one label that is put on them. Because we think we know who they are and what they do, but we don't. The world has developed with international connections, with people that are now very well aware of the history and important events that have marked lives of people from all around the world. Our society has such a high tolerance toward diversity and differences between people. Despite all of this new information we have absorbed about different nationalities and cultures, the ignorant still shines right through the connections that we have tried so hard to keep. The stereotypes and generalizations break the walls we have built for ages. All this prejudice and hatred towards different nationalities and cultures have broken bonds and even caused war. And they just keep adding fuel to the fire that has become so hard to extinguish. Indians are an ethnic group, a cultural group and a nationality that has been portrayed in the wrong way and has also been degraded with stereotypes and generalizations in various TV shows and movies. Indians have been shunned, shut out, and judged by people from other countries and movies stepped up the line by including stereotypes and offensive portrayals of this cultural group. So who are the real Indians who have been forced to live behind the stereotypes? Who are the real Indians behind the thick walls of assumptions that the society of today has built block by block? This nationality and cultural group has been portrayed and judged in various ways, such as their accents, the food they eat, their jobs, and their hygiene. In the following examples, we can clearly see how these three main stereotypes are present in TV shows and movies. In one of the most famous American TV shows, The Big Bang Theory, an Indian character named Raj, who is originally from New Delhi, portrays Indians with a very thick accent when they speak English. One of the biggest stereotypes of the Indian cultural group is that they all have an accent when they speak. Indians are perceived to have a very strong accent while they speak English because they have a different intonation and pronunciation. However, the amount of times this cultural group's accent has been used for entertainment and fun for different audiences is amusing. You're cut off. <laughs> Anybody need a refill? Where did my life go, Penny? <laughs> One day I'm a carefree bachelor and the next I'm married and driving a minivan to peewee cricket matches in suburban New Delhi. Are you talking to me? Is there another Penny here? <laughs> I had such plans. I had dreams. In this clip, we can see that the character speaks with a very thick accent. This accent is also used in other movies which just portrays that everyone who's Indian speaks this way. However, Indians could have a very good pronunciation and speak English or any other language fluently. Further on, in TV shows such as The Simpsons, we once again see the stereotype of Indians with a thick accent. However, the stereotype that is clearly shown in this scene is that all Indians like spices and curry. They don't like to leave their store, but for the next five minutes, I'm going to party like it's on sale for $19.99. Good rice, good curry, good gande, let's hurry. The character is saying a ludicrous prayer about curry. It is not only concluding that all Indians love curry and spice, but it is also very offensive toward the real prayers and religion of this cultural group by making judgmental jokes about it. The fact that one of the biggest generalizations is presented in TV shows is dreadful and untrue to the real culture. Yes, spices and curry are eaten and present in many typical Indian meals and dishes. However, this does not mean that suddenly all Indians are obsessed with curry and spices. Plus, many ethnic groups use spices in order to prevent their food from spoilage. By the same token, we see the character as a convenience store owner, and it highly portrays Indians as being the owners of convenience stores. 
However, this culture group is very successful. In fact, one in four Indians have a steady full-time employment in a big company, and not some convenience store. This stereotype is used in many other cultural groups, such as the Chinese. In movies such as Transformers, we find scenes in which Indians are judged by their hygiene, and once again, unfortunately, their accents are thick. Sir, the attitude is not going to speed things up any bit at all. I'm going to ask you to speak into the mouthpiece very clearly. We find the character in a call center speaking with a really thick accent and picking his nose. Here we find this cultural group being portrayed as unhygienic and with thick accents. By the character's actions of picking his nose and then looking at it, we can see that they are portrayed as unhygienic. However, the extremely strong accent is most evident in this scene. These TV shows and movies have brought us a picture of how our society builds names, labels, and specifications for various nationalities. All these TV shows only brought generalizations, prejudice, and situations that built more stereotypes for this nationality. But behind all of these flashlights, behind all of these clips, Indians are much more. Indians are an ethnicity, a culture, full of happiness and tradition. India's culture is among the oldest, and yet it is still one of the most elaborate and beautiful ones. India has 28 states, no official language, a variety of religions, an Indian cuisine with influence from all around the world, colorful silky traditional dresses, and it has people from all over the world. Indians could be anything they want to be. There could be Indians that speak fluent English, Indians that don't eat typical food, Indians that do not work in convenience stores, Indians that could be anything they want to be, because they have no label. Through history, Indians have gone through their lives being forced to live behind these stereotypes. Racism, discrimination, stereotypes, generalizations, prejudice, and hatred is not okay no matter the justification or excuse. All of this ignorance in TV shows and movies towards the traditions of cultures of a group only exacerbates the prejudice and hate going on between nationalities and making cause worldwide. Tolerance is vital for existence. If there is no tolerance, there is no respect. There is no need to interpret all Indians in one way when being Indian is just a nationality, not a way of living or a label. Something that should be of such little importance has been taken by other people and built into a weapon against another nationality. Some do it just because they are ignorant, but others, such as the ones on TV shows and movies, do it to entertain others by degrading a nationality or a group. It is pivotal for the community and children of the future to know that stereotypes are erroneous and derogatory. <laughs>